What's going on, YouTube? Saddle Tramp here. On the way to Romeoville, Illinois. Uh, just left out yesterday off my home time. Got uh, the Viking. Smoking some Mac Barron's HH Latakia Flake, which is uh, fantastic. The, the tin note, well, the jar note now, but it's real, it's pungent. I mean, it's, it's good stuff, but uh, yeah, man, I, I got the box, and I wanted to do a box opening really bad, because everybody's got box openings but me, and um, I didn't have time. I mean, I had a lot of shit going on when I was at home, and I didn't want to wait. Maybe my next box I order, I'll wait and open it for you guys, but I just couldn't wait, man. I just, just started ripping into it. Um, I was a little weirded out. I ordered it from Pipes and Cigars, and the box was kind of, it wasn't that big, man. I mean, I ordered a lot of shit, and uh, I was wondering maybe like somehow I got back order. Or if I opened it up, there was like one little air pillow, and the rest of it was completely stuffed full of shit, man. So it was, it was awesome. I picked up, I did save the tins for you guys so I could show you the tins of what I got. Hold on a second, let me open this bag up. Um, picked up, I haven't tried everything I got yet, but um, I guess we'll go back through, before they do the box of, boxes, it's uh, this is Cornell and Deal Engine 99. I picked this up at um, the Hill Cigar Company in St. Louis. That stuff's pretty good. Peter Stokeby's English Oriental Supreme is also pretty good. Um, from Pipes and Cigars, I picked up four ounces of Dunhill Nightcap, which is com pretty stuffed in here uh, tight, but I love Nightcap. I had to have plenty of that. And also in a bulk, I got Samuel Gawith, Full Virginia Flake. And... Um, Actually, the only things I don't think I've tried yet are the Orlick Golden Sliced. This is where'd you go? Yeah, I picked up 100 grams of Orlick Golden Sliced because um, when I went to that shop in Wisconsin, I went to Smokedale, and they had I'm guessing it was House Blend. I don't know if it was just something they rebranded, but it just said Virginia Flake on it. And going from the taste and the smell, I would say it was like Virginia, maybe a little bit of Burley in it, because it did have this real nice nutty kind of aroma to it. And I loved it. I smoked the shit out of it. And uh, so I picked up plenty of Virginias to try and see what was going to be close to that. So I haven't tried the Orlick yet, but I got 100 grams of that. Um, let's see, in the, the Gwith. Full Virginia Flake, I picked up uh, four ounces of that, four ounces of nightcap. Um, I already had 50 gram tins of, hold on, out. Um, uh, Frog Morton on the town and across the pond. I already had 50 gram tins of these, so I ordered another 50 gram tin of 10 of each because um, I love really really glad that I tried that stuff because um, all of it every, every single one of them is great so I got 50 gram tins of those to fill out and then I got 100 gram tins of the ones I didn't have and both of these are really good too I love them all and then um, at my local shop I picked up uh, if you're ever in Columbus Ohio go to uh, Burning Leaf Cigar on uh, High Street. Uh, talk to Matt. He's my dude, man. He's awesome. He takes good care of you. Um, Dunhill Standard Mixture, which I haven't tried yet. Uh, is what I'm smoking right now. Mac Barron's HH Latakia Flake, which is fantastic. Very pungent. We got Escudo Navy Deluxe. These are also good. Really got lucky, man. Everything I picked out, I liked. Um, here, Bradley over at Stuffing Things is always talking about Elizabethan mixture, and it's one video you see. He's got a stack. 
It's got three stacks about this high. I mean, he, he loves the stuff. And it is really, really damn good. And uh, some pirate cake, which is also good. Um, got lucky, man. I just... Just from reading different stuff and uh, <clears throat> watching people's videos. Let me put these, put these away so I <clears throat> quit clanking around. Just from watching people's videos and um, reading different things and guessing, you know. And it turns out I picked everything I picked I, uh, I liked. Um, oh, yeah. Also... Picked up a new cob, the uh, Country Gentleman, which is um, surprisingly probably one of the best smoking pipes I've ever I've ever smoked. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it might even smoke better than this one, and this one smokes really good. But um, I've been smoking Elizabethan mixture out of this, and I don't really designate one type or one brand or anything to a certain pipe. Um, it just happens for whatever I just I like smoking Virginia's out of cobs. I don't know why but I just dig it and um, This thing smokes really really good. I mean you pack it and fire it up It smokes all the way to the bottom without relighting it and then what I'm really was excited about I guess I'll do a little little show and tell here. I picked up a Stanwell oh. Stanwell Vario 32 says Stanwell Danish design Vario and um, I really really love this pipe so I needed something for when I knew I was going to be getting in and out of the truck and you know dropping trailers hooking up trailers something I mean it's super super light I mean it smokes great nice and light I like the when I first started getting into pipes, I didn't like the bulldog shape. Just the look of it, I didn't really care for it. The more I got into it and been looking at different pipes and everything, the more I'm like, man, those are pretty good looking pipes, you know? And then, I mean, this thing, like I say, it smokes just fucking incredible. I love it. Super light. And then I was going through a smoke shop the other day and just happened to pick up some uh, snuff. Uh, how good this snuff is, I don't know. Um, let's see, I can't see, um, it's something Garrett and Son Sweet Snuff, try and get it on there, W.E. Garrett, I think, W.F. or W.E. Garrett, it's, it's torn through the label, Sweet Snuff, it, uh, smells kind of like, uh, like tea, you know, like, um, like tea bags, you know, like uh, Lipton or whatever. It's not bad. Um, I'm sure there's better stuff, better quality stuff out there because it was like six bucks for uh, one and 1.15 ounces. So, but I guess I'll do a little, a little snippet here for everybody. <laughs> things <coughs> anyway um, I guess I'm not really the saddle tramp anymore shit makes my eyes water um, I needed to spend more time at home you know see my family more so I switched to um, the uh, Sears account which runs throughout the week. God damn, man. <sighs> um, usually runs throughout the week, so I'm just doing some fill-in stuff over the weekend. Damn it, man. You done? Alright. Doing some fill-in stuff over the weekend, and, um... Man, it's getting fucking hot in here. If I have the engine running, you guys can... It's really annoying. It makes a bunch of fucking noise, so... Um... Hold on. Alrighty then. Um, running over the road, and I come home 
for three days, about every four to six weeks. Um, doing it this way, I'll be home at one day every weekend. You know, I take a 34-hour reset every weekend. And, um, you know, I'm going to try it and uh, see how it goes. I don't know. I used to run Target Dedicated, and I didn't really care for it too much. I really, I really like being out on the road, so um, hopefully I'm making the right choice. We'll see. I mean, I can always go back, I guess, but um, that's about it. Um, you know, and I've got a bunch of pipe cleaners and shit like that, and I picked up some more uh, check tools, which uh, this idea I kind of stole from... Uh, Jason Dagner, because I see he, he'll have his, uh, his tamper on, um, on his lighter leash. So I just took a check tool and a key ring, and, and which is actually really fucking convenient, man. I mean, it, it's a hell of an idea, so I had to kind of take it from him, but, um, yeah, so, uh, you guys take it easy. Um, I changed my Instagram. It's saddle underscore tramp underscore piper. Uh, check out my travel photos. A lot of my older stuff on there is really, really good from uh, from last winter running out west. There's some really good shit in there. So, you guys take it easy, and uh, I'll catch y'all next time.